Yo, yo, what's up, design lifers? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jimmy, and I'm here to help you with your design life. A lot of the times you guys ask me questions, and I'm happy to help you out, but there are some answer or but there are some questions that you guys ask, and I really don't know the answer to them. Usually a lot of questions. I, I'm still trying to learn here too and I don't got the answers to everything. A question that you guys have been asking me and I kind of wondered the same thing. And so I kind of just want to learn this along with you guys. So let's just go on the journey and learn what a product design engineer is. It's called product design engineer. And so it's kind of like, who, who are these people? You know, what do they do? Why, why did they have the word engineer in their name? Are they product designers or are they engineers? You know, so it's always been very interesting to me. Instead of just, you know, going ahead and Googling this and reading out a definition of what a project uh, design engineer is, what I like to do is to jump into an actual job listing of a company looking for a product design engineer and look at all the different responsibilities that they list out and what they expect uh, for this opening. That gives me a real, you know, realistic um, view of what they actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's just jump into the computer and just learn together what product design engineers are and how they differentiate with industrial designers. Let's go. All right, design lifers, I found this listing on the g -g -g Googs and it is for Google and so let's hop right into it. Product design engineer, consumer hardware. If I see a listing like this, should I apply for it? Am I the right person for this type of opening? It says product design in it, but it also has engineer at the same time. So let's see what uh, they actually are looking for. I'm not gonna read all of this, I'll probably skim through it real quick. A member of a fast-paced multidisciplinary team, you will use creative and diverse range of engineer experience to explore solutions to a variety of engineer problems. Okay, immediately, it already sounds to be very, very engineering. Now I wonder what kind of engineer, is it mechanical, electrical, what type of engineer are they actually looking for? As a product design engineer, you participate in the design analysis prototyping of new concepts. That's kind of like what we do. I mean, I do analysis and prototyping of new concepts. As a product design engineer, you endeavor to reinvent the shape of electronics by balancing comfort, performance, and appearance. Wearables, VR, Pixel, laptop, tablets, Chromecast, and home. Okay. Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it, it universally acceptable and useful. Only one thing consistently stands in the way between our users and the world's information. Hardware. Our consumer hardware team research. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So essentially, you're going to be developing a product. All right, I know I jumped around a little bit there, guys, but you guys can go ahead and check out the full listing, read it yourselves. Uh, links should be down in the description. Okay, so responsibilities. Manage the subsystems and or individual parts designs from the concept to production. So pretty much developing it from concept all the way up into production, essentially what an industrial designer does. Oversee supplier partners of subsystems and or individual parts design from concept to production. Okay, so this is usually when they have a designer fly to the Far East sometimes to check out some of the suppliers, check out the uh, production line and just actually meet the people and sometimes when you build that relationship you can have lower prices later and have more trust that the supplier will pull through with your order root cause design challenges to improve design to successfully take products to mass production so diagnosing figuring out problems no big deal exactly what we do design for function reliability human factors manufacturability and cosmetic requirements. So some of these I would say are more stronger suited for engineers, like probably manufacturability, uh, possibly reliability, 
Um, but as far as like function, as far as human factors and cosmetic requirements, those are what industrial designers do. So three out of those two, I would say, are highly, highly favoring industrial designers. So next is qualifications. Minimum qualifications are a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Sure. Product design. All right, so there we go. That is us. There's no doubt in my mind now that this job listing is for industrial designers, product designers. This is exactly what we do. I was actually unaware that we can also be applying for product design engineer positions, but apparently uh, industrial designers and also mechanical engineers can apply for this position. All right, so four years of relevant work experience with consumer and handheld product design. So that's essentially what I do. I am a consumer electronics designer. Um, I design things with PCBs in them. Experience with CAD tools, PTC Creo, and mechanical simulation tools. Okay, so this one is probably more engineer. I wouldn't have this stop you guys from applying because uh, this is just one bullet point. You know, somebody has to sit here and, and create this list here. And you also can always learn this on the job if you tell them that you know how to use SolidWorks really, really well. Creo is like Pro-E. It's a program that everybody uses over in the Far East in China. All the suppliers, all the engineers, that's the program that they use. And it's very similar to SolidWorks. So I'm pretty sure that uh, it's it'll be very easy to learn if you already know how to use a CAD program specifically. SolidWorks. That's actually a program that I'm gonna learn pretty pretty soon with coming the next couple months. Uh, and manufacturing simulation tools. Okay, that's something that <clears throat> could could be learned on the job as well. Experience with mechanical design of plastic and metal components. PCB. FPC. Okay, so PCB is essentially just circuit boards, printed circuit boards, and those are the little green boards or whatever color they're in now, and they're, that's where they solder on all the different components like chi uh, chips and all of those resistors and whatnot. And acoustics used in consumer electronic products. Okay, so no big deal there, guys. Eight years of relevant work experience. So that is a big one. I do not have eight years of experience. I have about two years of professional experience. And so um, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold this. I wouldn't have that hold me back from applying to this because I feel that if I were to go into the interview, show them my work, I am confident with my work. I'm confident with my skills. I have done things that other industrial designers haven't done yet. And so if I were to sell myself, you know, be professional, dress well, do everything that I promote here at Design Life, then um, I'm sure that me and you guys will go in and crush it. And maybe, I mean, some places are just very strict. Depends on the place, depends on the person running, depends on the person hiring. If they really, really, really need an eight year. And you know what? It's cool just to go in because maybe they won't hire you for this position, but they'll hire you for another position. That happens so often guys just don't let things stop you go ahead you if, if you can do all of this stuff don't let that eight years of relevant work experience stop you just go ahead and meet them figure it out go through the interview process and then you know even if you don't get it you'll learn something from it i, I wouldn't let that stop me at all experience collaborating with uh in instructional design and electrical teams okay and hands-on fabrication experience Booyah, easy. All right, guys, you know, that is exactly what we do as industrial designers, um, you know, product design engineers. Apparently, we can do that, too. I know that as industrial designers, we need to know just as much. We don't know the technicality. We don't know the physics. We don't know the numbers, but we need to know just as much when it comes to what will work and what won't work. All right, guys, that is about it for this video. I learned a lot just from reading this listing and it actually is super cool. It opened my eyes and opened me to even more possibilities that I was unaware of and I've Hope that it did the same for you guys. If you learned something from this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you want me to do more of these videos, there are other cool listings that I found. And so I am 
happy to go over it with you guys and it's cool making these videos too I learn a lot as I go with you guys so definitely leave it all down in the comments let me know what other things you want me to talk about hit that subscribe button guys so that my videos come right to you guys and don't forget to hit that bell button don't 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 forget to hit that bell button so that you will for sure get notified when I upload my next video which won't be tomorrow because actually it is my birthday tomorrow i'll be turning 28 years young and so i'll probably just you know do something fun go out to dinner um, but i will be back on wednesdays guys visit designlifebrand.com to grab an awesome awesome design life t-shirt if you identify as an industrial designer or any type of designer or a product design engineer, this is the t-shirt to represent yourself. Design Life Brand. Also follow us on Instagram, hashtag Design Life Brand to check out our original daily content that we create and post on a daily basis, which is a lot harder than it seems, guys. All right, my name is Jimmy, and I'll catch you all, Design Lifers, in the next video. Peace.